I just, oh, I will continue this as long as necessary, and I want you to know that. Bottom of my heart. This is Jack Berkman, a lobbyist and Virginia attorney, appearing to pretend to have been on hunger strike for the last 30 days. In October 2020, Berkman and his ally, Jacob Wall, were charged in Ohio with felony telecommunications fraud and seven counts of felony bribery for allegedly using robocalls to deter voting in minority communities. They each face 18 years and six months in prison. The pair additionally face lawsuits from the New York Attorney General and the FCC. Last week, they released a press statement claiming Berkman had gone on a hunger strike and lost more than 65 pounds and all his hair, and they announced a press conference. This weekend, a video on YouTube appeared to show Berkman wearing a bald cap. On Monday, after the press conference was scheduled to occur, Wall admitted to Berkman wearing a bald cap. Jacob. Hi there. Hey. Are you uh, beginning? Well, I'm gonna try to get Jack out. Uh... He's in very bad shape, unfortunately. Yeah, I saw with the uh, bald cap and everything. Well, <laughs> that was because he hasn't lost all of his hair quite yet, but he's lost most of it. And he figured it would be better if he had lost all of it. But uh, he is in rough shape. Uh -huh. And I'll soon have to force feed him uh, through tubes in his nose. With any light. Okay. Is he. Uh... So, what is, is he coming out? I'm gonna try to bring him out, just now. All right, we'll see what happens. We're gonna try to bring him out. He's very, very ill. He is very ill. He later came back outside and began complaining about deplatforming and the cases against them. These are my consigliaries, Arthur and Eva. You got new dogs? He's not new, she's rather new. This is his sister. Uh, I've had him for a year, but she's new. We've been so banned from everything that we've had to erect a massive antenna in the backyard here that's over 50 feet high. Uh, and all we have now is shortwave radio, pirate shortwave radio. We have no Twitter, we have no Facebook, no LinkedIn. All we have now is radio. We've had to erect a huge antenna and we put out 10 kilowatts of power. Some of the neighbors have complained of RF interference, uh, the garages opening and closing and things like that. We've instructed them to install ferrite chokes uh, onto the wires in order to prevent that from happening. And we've even provided them free of charge, but we're still getting complaints. One of your colleagues from the media, Zach Patrizzo, was here earlier in the week trying to foment the neighbors into some sort of riot over the antenna. But we have assured them that there is no risk to their health whatsoever. It's non-ionizing radiation. There's no risk whatsoever that they will suffer mal effects to their health. And it's the only option that we have to uh, get our message out there. What? what are you talking about? I'm talking about <laughs> what has happened earlier in the week. It sounds absurd, but it's true. Uh, so, I mean, I'm like, I'm here because of a press release that's on the internet. <laughs> like, what, did you have to use an antenna to put that out? We have email, but just barely. We just barely have email any longer. Uh, Does one not just have email or not have email? You, well, no, you it's not, email. no, it's not that simple. I've been banned from MailChimp. I've been banned from Constant Contact. Uh, just about every email provider you can name. So it's not, no, it's far from simple. And who, from who simple. are you reaching by antenna? People around the world. People around the world. Uh, the, the signals propagate thousands of miles, bouncing off the ionosphere. That's all we have left. We've had to resort to 1930s technology, that and posters. But they've even tried to ban us from doing posters for Predator DC, the show where we capture pedophiles in the area that come to meet underage teens for sex. And uh, they've even tried to stop us from hanging posters at the White House. I 
I'm sure we'll get into this assuming Jack comes out, but he's a lawyer. Why uh, do a hunger strike rather than sort of contest the allegations when somebody... Oh, we is, have uh, contested the allegations in court. We continue to, uh, and we continue to maintain our full innocence, but he is doing a hunger strike to bring awareness to the absurdity of the whole case. You have one group of Jews, them, and their clients, Jews, accusing us, Jews, of being Klansmen. It's like an episode of uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm or something. It's completely absurd on its face. And uh, this is to point that out. I Last mean, week, but why, they, like, just, so, let's just say for a second that he's actually having a hunger strike, but if he, if he is, why, like, why would that uh, help? When does that ever help well, in the he, legal procedure? he pointed out the case of Chavez and his hunger strike. I think you can point to the cases of uh, Guantanamo Bay detainees who are vicious terrorists and have now been freed in most cases despite plotting deadly terror attacks against the United States and our allies. And they did so uh, by carrying out hunger strikes. Jack is insistent that he won't be force fed. And of course, at some point, he'll have to be hospitalized and, and force fed. Uh, He's still taking vitamins and minerals, and he's drinking Perrier water, as always, with lemon. Uh, that's what he drinks, uh, but no food. And he may be down to 140 pounds now. I'm not even sure. We, uh, I guess we look forward to seeing him. Is, it, are we, is this happening soon? I'm going to try to get him out for you. All right, we'll see. Finally, about an hour late, Jacob opened the door for the press conference. This is what I saw. Is that it, Jacob? That's all for today. So why was, uh, I could see that he had all of his hair still. No, I don't think that's what you saw. Uh, the whole top of his head is gone. There's a little bit left on the sides. Arthur has all 